Well, folks, it would look better at night, but uh, you can see the lights work nicely. Nice front, top, and roof rack, right? Top, roof rack, and then look, you can see the back. Hey, everybody. I am recording. Welcome. This is a, a solo RC car tech. If you don't know what we are doing, I think this is number five. Number five, the way it's going to go up. And what I'm going to do today is I have this neat light set that I got from Lit LED LLC. Can you see that? Lit LED LLC. A very responsive. Um, I'll admit, the reason we call this we don't know what we're doing is because we really don't. And one, I guess one detraction with this is you aren't going to get directions. It's not going to tell you how to put it in. This is an SCX uh, 1967 Chevrolet C10, an axial. And I love it. It does already have lights here in the front. But I really like lights in the light, uh, in the actual bulbs. Um, this also, this set that I got from him, inexpensive. I think it was maybe 30 bucks, 30 bucks, including shipping. But it's inexpensive. It has lights up here for the rack. And it should light up back here. Um, so I got to, you know, get that all going. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just work on this. I'm going to leave the camera recording. And I'll speed through. And I may stop now and then to say, hey, let me tell you about this, let me tell you about that. Because I really, like I said, it's got wiring and stuff. It probably assumes a bit too much. Uh, it is nice, he gives a nice little sticker in there too. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start doing it. So we'll see. Sometimes it'll go to normal speed, sometimes it'll be fast speed. For now, let's get this thing going. Okay, we'll slow it down at this point if I haven't already slowed it down or kept it slow. Something I already like about this, notice the bag, okay? Notice the bag, it is a Ziploc. That's a lot nicer than having to rip it for two reasons. One, because it does make it easier to open and uh, less, less prone to have things go flying everywhere. But also, I can reuse this bag afterwards. There's gonna be st other stuff with RC stuff. So in it, <laughs> this is a cool addition. It comes with one of those, like, uh, I can't remember what they're called, but the, it's a pretend, it's a pretend cup, look at that. A pretend cup. That's awesome. Let's see. So when I get thirsty, I can pour a little bit of that into my Diet Pepsi. Uh, or, I mean, pour a little of my Diet Pepsi into that. Uh, Shugu, when I talked to the guy, so I didn't get directions, but I did ping the guy on Facebook, and he told me how to do it. I'm going to be going to it and trying. But Shugu is to help with installing some of the back stuff. So we'll see in a bit. Okay. You can see this is the top set of lights. Um, what we're going to have to do is this will unscrew. I think I may have to take this off first. This will unscrew and this will screw on top here. You can see the little screw holes there, I think, if I get close enough. Um, and then I will have to drill a little hole here. So let me, let me go get, not drill, what do you call that other thing, auger? I should know, by the way, this C10, the 67 C10 I got from Cole Pars Hobby Town. Best place if you're in the Denver area to purchase these. Uh, there, there is at least one other place, but I'm not going to spoil their credit. This is where we got this one. I'm mentioning it, but Cole Pars, and if you can't get it from Cole Pars, say you live in another city, um, please go to your local. If you can buy something at a store, a hobby store, buy it there, don't buy it online. Um, usually, if anything, it might be a little cheaper. Um, so this is my, I've got a tool chest that I keep kind of what I consider my basic needs. And one of the things that I would highly recommend is make sure you get the RJX Hobby, RJX Hobby hex set. Um, I've got two, not of the full set like this. I do have two where the actual hex is. This one has more, it's got screwdrivers and whatever you call these thingamajiggers. Um, but you want to get those because if you're going to work on stuff like that, it's going to make it a lot easier. So the first thing I'm going to do just to make it easier is I'm going to take the top off. Um, you can see in the C10 that it's attached. This is a nice feature for lifting, but not for getting around. My guess is it's going to be a one and a half, I hope. If it's smaller, then I've got a problem. Let's see, how do I take that off? Okay. Oh, that's smaller than one and a half. Or is that even, 
Are they on the hex? Or is this one? This is one and a half. It looks smaller than one and a half. I don't know. Let's see if I've got a smaller one. Just a second here. I just got this light from Ace Hardware in Bennett today. Whoops, just got hooked. It's a FEIT, Fate Electric. Um, the other half of RC CarTech. Sometimes holds a light for me, but you know, if you've ever done it, it's easy to start moving it. So I figured I'd get something that made it so that I could keep control of it. So let's go ahead and turn this on for a second. I'm gonna take a look at this a bit more to see if I can get the back off. Looks like a hex, but it's it's a one millimeter, I think. Because one and a half is too big. This is the ball head of some sort. Wow. Hey, you know I have another. <laughs> okay, let's see. This thing has got lots of little thingies in it. Let's see if that'll work. Well, this one says it's 1.3, so let's see what happens here. Yeah, it looks like 1.3 is going to fit. So I'm taking the little back screws so I can get this thing out. Isn't that special? Can you see what I'm doing here? So where I'm taking it off is right here. You see that right there? I'm going to take my back off. But it's a 1.3 millimeter, which is interesting. But I mean, it makes sense if you think about it. This is a um, 24 scale, so I can't have two huge screws. So now that is off there. That is like that. Set this. You guys probably can't see if I leave it there. If I, no, you can't see it there. Oh, you don't need to see it. Let's we'll just stick it over here out of the way. Okay, so now the first thing I want to do is I want to put the lights on here. Um, it is a bit of a shame that these are gray and these are black, but you know it is what it is. Now let's go see, can I take that off? Without, you know, I'm going to have to have to take the bottom here. See these screws here? I'm going to have to take those out first. Those look like they may still be, let's see, no, they're still 1.3. So, got these in here. You can see I've got this wrist magnet holding the clips. I don't have any idea. Just got that as part of the Amazon line program. Okay, so this has a little screw and I guess the equivalent of a nut. And you want to watch which side goes up and which side goes down. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but this this side, which is basically flat, but <laughs> I'm gonna spit it out. But either way, there's a basically flat side of not a nut, but a washer. That goes, the flat side goes against the body. So let me go ahead and get this off too. So one of the things I'm gonna have to decide to do is how do you, where am I going to put the hole in? I've got to make the hole big enough to put the thing through. So we'll figure it out. We'll get it kind of attached. Then we'll figure out where we want to put the hole. So there's that off there. There's that off there. Some people don't like the light set up there anyway. I like it. Um, but you can see how I can just take those off there too. So let's take those off and then put the other one on. And we'll go from there. I got that off. Basically, you just have to replace it with this. So, we'll hook this up here.
Again, something I've learned as an RC, uh, working on RC cars, I've only been doing this a couple months, few months, playing with RC cars and less time actually working on them, um, is uh, don't over tighten. So you can see that that's now hooked there, fits nicely. So it'd be nice if they were black like the originals. Where are the originals? Be kind of nice if they were black like the originals. They're not as stylish as the originals either. If you look at the two, they're not as stylish, but hey, these don't light up. Okay, so we've got that. Now you have to make a decision, right? Where if you put this up here, this is going to have to go in there. So I think I would want to tuck it under. I don't want to tuck it under. What do you think? So I'm going to try to put the hole with the auger. Let me go ahead and close this up. I'm going to try to put the hole with the auger right about there. Grab said auger. And then of course you want the hole to be as small as possible. Um, so you want it to be as small as possible. But it's not going to be small, small. No way to get a hole. So let's go ahead and try to get halfway. I mean, a little close, but not too close. In between. And this this tool here, if you don't have, if you're doing anything remote control cars, you need one of these if you're going to do anything with a body. So you can see it, it makes a. This one wasn't as clean as I wish. It makes a pretty clean cut. Let's see if that's big enough before I clean it up. Yep, that is almost just perfect. And then just spin. Don't want to push anymore. Gets cleaner if you do that. A little more spinning here. It's got a little extra in here. Let me get a exacto knife. Get that cleaned up. <laughs> I can't even pull the exacto knife out. Just a. Exacto knife. I want to cut off the little excess that went in here. So now let's take this, put it back on. Yeah, I'll have to probably just do one at a time here. Okay, small fingers, big fingers, small holes, I should say. Let's see if I can do this. So I'm going to save the hardest part for last. And that's the backlights. That's the part I still don't totally understand what I'm supposed to do. So, so far, kudos to Axial for how easy it is to work on this and to uh, Lit Light or Lit LED LLC. Yeah, so far so good. It'll cut a little bit more off this here. I just want to do it without, I don't want to damage anything, especially my fingers. So, I've still got some little plastic plastic in here that's still down. It's not the end of the world. It just would be nice to get rid of it a little bit. But I don't want to scrape the inside. There's a nice silver inside here too. I think that's good enough. Okay, so now you can see that that's on there. See that? Look at that. And we're going to tuck this under here and pull it through like this. Don't pull it too hard, but there you go. What do you think? Like that, like that, and like that. How does that look? Look good to you? Don't pull it too much. Yeah, I like it. Okay. So now we're going to do the front, the front lights here. That's what we're going to do next. So if you look at this, another nice thing about this product is it's held together with nice bands. I 
don't know if I'm supposed to take them apart. Okay, so which are the front lights and which are the back lights? That's a good question. Let's see. Front light, back lights. Are there any, any difference? So that's going to go in there. How do I tell the front lights from the back lights? Does it matter? Probably not. They really all look, it's not like there's going to be turn the front lights or you turn the back lights on. I don't know, maybe I'll tuck that back in. Because, yeah, maybe I'll tuck that back in and see. Well, the wire is out, but it actually might be better to leave it like this. See it there? Okay. I wish I had a way to turn these on so I could see. Okay, it's going to go in there. Actually, let's do that. Where does this go? I'll get a battery. I'll be right back. Well, oh, okay. Ran out of battery on my Sony ZV-1. Got a battery in here. I want to see what happens. I'm going to plug this in. Make sure there's no different color. I assume that this plugs in. Whoa. Into one of these side ones. So you see how it says, it says, whoops, I didn't secure the battery. See two of there, they say LED. That's a nice feature, Axial, thank you, where it says LED. So that's good. Let me plug this into LED, Let's see what happens. Okay, yeah, see, it does matter. Red, not red. Let's see what the top looks like since we've got this. Oh, that is nice. So you can see, look at that. That nice, bright. Uh, let me keep it back here so it's not as blinding. Let's see if I get closer will be. No, it's not resetting. Okay, either way. So, it does matter. So now in the front, the nice thing about it is there are buckets to put the lights in here. Can you see that? Is that coming through? So, in the front, it's pretty simple. I'm just going to take and pop these in there. You've got you do have to give them a good push, otherwise they don't... Here, let me come around. You need to give them a really good push. They will sit in there, or seem to sit in there, but they won't be all the way in, so you gotta take, give it a really good push until you click in. Whoops. Sorry, I don't know if you can see. Oops, uh oh. I think I just broke it, maybe. Try not to, maybe bend it back up. Yeah, it didn't come off luckily. I don't know how I'm gonna get popped in here. The other one I was able to get in, but it took some effort. Maybe I could push along the edge or something. Try to use the tip here to push it in. Okay, so what I just did, when I tried to push in here, when I tried to push this, I ended up bending it over. So I'm going to turn it back on and hope. Um, instead, there's a little plastic circle around each light. Use the tip of this to push in. 
It's going to be better, otherwise you might do what I did and bend it over. So, you want to see if it's still working? Let's turn this on, turn this on, plug this into here. Good, still working, yay, look at that, awesome, awesome, oh, that is just so neat, that is so neat, okay, you unplug it again, turn that off, turn that off, pull this out, okay, so now, this thing, this is, this one's a little weirder. It's supposed to be something I do with shoe glue and this. So let's see. See, the problem here is these are just stickers. Can you see that? Those are just stickers. So. So here I'm going to take off the bumper temporarily so I can play with the back here a bit more readily. The bumper holds these back connectors though. The bumper. Here. The bumper holds the screws that hold the bumper also hold these. So I just have to be careful about being able to put them back on the way I got them off. Oh, interesting. Oh, there's a screw there, too. I'm going to see if the lights come through, but I don't think they will. Yeah, they're not they're not coming through so you can see the, the lights the lights are inside there but they're not coming through there and I don't know what they expect me to do because those are stickers I'm almost gonna have to poke a hole I don't see what my choice is. This auger will actually let me start poking. So you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to choose a spot and I'm just going to put a little hole and then I'm going to do it on both sides, the same spot, and then glue that thing in. So basically I'm going to go where the lights are, I'm going to take my auger and put a little hole in each one and then 
see what happens. I may regret this. We'll see. Okay, so the, the auger actually caused that to find a seating spot. So now, let's just go ahead and see what it looks like. Why not, huh? So what I was saying, I, I keep going quickly. So I, I used the auger to create a couple little holes. <sighs> Excuse me. And then what, what happened is that the little holes actually caused little seating spots for this thing inside. So I'm gonna see how it looks. And then uh, I will glue it on, um, but uh, you know that may not work out too bad. I don't, I don't remember him saying that I was going to have to auger, but what do you know? Oops, I think I have this backwards. Let's do this again. I don't want to go that direction. I want to go this direction. Yeah, maybe it's not seating as well this way, though. That's interesting. Do I want to go... Huh. i got to decide which way to put the plastic. Yeah, I think it works better this way. So you can see the rough side. Can you see that? The rough side of this is what I've got out. I'm not sure which side is the right one. LED lights do might tell you the other side, but we're going to try it with this one and see what it looks like. See? I don't know if I can pick this up enough. See? It's not perfect, but it'll work. Ah, okay. Question is, how do I get that so it sets just right? You know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to put some shoe goo on it and then just leave it be. And I'm going to have to do shoe goo in two places. I've got to put the shoe glue in so that that black bar will stick to the back there. But I also need to do the shoe goo. Here, let me just unplug this. Let's turn this off again. Turn this off. So I'm going to do the shoe goo in two places. First, I've got to get that back black bar to stay there. And then second, these lights, the lights themselves do not clip in there. So I need to put some shoe goo there so that they will not come out. So I'm going to give myself a little more room with the wire. I can always stuff it back in. Give myself more room with the wire. I'm going to plug it back in so I'm sure of where I'm placing things. Shoe goo. What does it take to set? Puncture clean, blah, blah, blah. Uh, spread with a disposable tool to build a thick coating, allow each layer to set three to four hours. Well, we're not going to do that. So what I'll probably do is take a little, let me get a little electrical tape to hold it there too. Lights, lights. So let's see what I can do here. I'm trying to do it without knocking over my Pepsi, my diet Pepsi there. Shugu comes sealed, has a little pointer on top that breaks the seal. Oh, let me get some gloves. Shugu is messy. So you're gonna want some disposable gloves. I'm only gonna do one. You're gonna want a disposable glove to put the Shugu on. So I think it's supposed, Shugu is supposed to take like uh, 24 hours, what does it say? Cure for 24 hours, or a blow repair to cure for 24 hours, uh, may not, uh, maximum strength may not be reached to 40, 48 to 72 hours, but we'll be good. So use that to poke a hole, to let the Shugu out. And then, try to, it's going to be interesting. 
because I need to put shoe glue on both sides. I don't want to unscrew the other side. So how do I do that? You know, I may need to unscrew the other side. Second. No, I guess I can do that and then slide it in. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I don't want to get all over this side here. Whoa, no, don't get on there. Don't get on there. Shoe goo is pretty sticky, so be forewarned. What I'm doing is I'm just spreading out along where I'm going to slide this. I'm going to slide this up. But i got to watch because I might get, I'm might get i getting shoe glue on stuff I don't want to get it on. So, got to be careful here. Uh, choose that. So I'm going to slide this up to where I want it. I'm going to wipe the shoe goo off the stuff that I don't want it on. Second here. See, it's gotten on. It's getting in inside where I where I have this piece here. So let's go ahead and get that up. I don't want it to get stuck on there. Get rid of this extra shoe goo before it dries. It dries pretty quickly, so can't wait too long to fix things. I'm going to put more shoe goo. Let me slide this where I want it. Oh, those are both in good spots, I think. That's pretty good right there with both of them. So now I want to put more shoe goo along the edge just to hold it and then around the lights. Okay, those look good. Um, now I need to put some shoe goo around the ends of the lights just to stick them to the. Gonna, oh crap! I got shoe goo on this. That's not good. I want to get that shoe goo off. There, put that there. Get off this before it sticks. Cutting board. That I was trying to avoid. Yeah, it's coming off. Good. Good, 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 good. Okay. So, now I want to put some shoe goo around the lights themselves to stick them into their sockets. It's not the prettiest thing, but it seems to be working. Just check this one more time. Make sure the alignment is good. is about as good as it's going to get. Got a lot of shoe goo there. Let me just double check. Yep. Okay, so what I'm going to do to wrap this up, because I can't, I can't finish this. I don't want to take a chance of pulling on the lights and stuff. I'm going to stop here after I, you'll see me screw in this, this piece again. I'll get that back in there. Um, after I put that on there, then I'm going to let it dry overnight. It's not quite 24 hours, but I'll let it dry overnight and then I'll deal with the wires. i got to figure out how I'm going to attach the wires and stuff. I've got an idea. I've got something left over from another kit that I need to get more of um, that will help with the wires, I think. So part of it is i got to see how the wires, I'm going to have to see how the wires lay on top of here because one of the nice things about the C10 is it's got... Um, see-through windows uh, the, at least the front one I guess sides might be too are they're shaded but they're see-through so you don't want the wires like popping up all the way over there so I get shoe goo on my elbow <laughs> so uh, let me go ahead and get that thing back on then we'll uh, we'll chat a bit more and then I will come back tomorrow okay I gotta get this on the same way I took it off both fingers are too big Okay, one more screw and then I should be set. Put the screw back in here. So I put the two screws and the bumper back in 
need to do the one that holds it right there in the, through the top. Hopefully it's aligned. Actually, that's something else that I've been impressed with so far with Axial is the alignment, how the screws realign relatively easy. That's a very nice feature, Axial. Now, we just leave it alone. Okay, where we're at right now. I put shoe goo in here to hold this in. I'm not going to put any more. I'm going to let it set. I've used shoe goo to help stick the lights, the lights to it too, if you can see there. It's not the prettiest shoe goo, but it's going to hold it. Something just fell, my thing. Um, and I'm going to let it dry overnight. Um, shoe goo says 24 hours, but I think in the morning it'll be fine. And then I'm going to figure out what to do with these wires. Um, and uh, so far, you know, other than I, I wish I didn't have to drill the hills, the holes, but that's not the LED lights uh, fault that they have to they have to drill holes. It just doesn't have the things. Whereas in the front they had buckets. So I will see you guys again tomorrow, and we'll wrap this up. What do you think? Bye. Hey everybody, let's wrap this up. So. Hasn't been quite 24 hours, but I think that the shoe goo has set in there enough. So what I'm going to do is I have to put, I have to screw this back onto here, onto there, so that it will um, go up and down. <laughs> Hopefully I remember where, where each one is. Screw that back onto there, and then we'll plug it in. Now, I'd like to think of what I'm going to do with the wires for now. You know, with the band in there, they're probably tight enough that I don't have to worry about. Um, I'm going to have to think a bit about what I'll do in the future with it. It's not, you know, what I would worry is if the wires push in here and they could get caught in something, then I'd worry more about it, but I'm, I'm not too worried about it. So let me go ahead and get this attached and then we'll wrap up. We'll turn it on and take a look at it with all the lights in it. So uh, first thing I got to do is this is the light from the roof rack. So get that plugged in where it belongs. Yeah, I'll, I'll want to do something with it. I don't know. I'm gonna to have to think a bit about uh, where things are. I'll want to do something with it. It's 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 got you know with that especially plugged in. It's got a lot of room to have messed up. I can't remember where I unhooked it from. Just a second here. I think it was that one. We'll find out shortly. If it wasn't, then I'll just do it again. That's all. After this, I am going to put a new spur gear in my son's Rustler, Traxxas Rustler 4x4. You're, you're safe to come over if you want to, Augie. Hey, everyone. Hopefully I'm screwing this in the right place. Is that your SCX24? That is. 1967 Chevy CS10. Now, I should note again that Axial has done a good job of making it or to place the screws and get them to align very well. As a matter of fact, if you look at where these hook in, there and there, you look at where those two things hook in, um, there's like a guide uh, knob, that, notch, that actually causes it to go in where I need to. So I know that the screw will hook correctly into this last one there's a guide notch in the spot just before it. So nicely done again, Axial. I'm impressed by how you've simplified this. Oh, that's going to make it interesting to close, though. That's going to make it interesting to close. Okay, so let's just do this real quick here. Turn this on. Plug this in. This is not separated, this from there. 
Yeah, it's going to be interesting. I'm going to have to plug this in directly to the combined ESC and receiver each time, which is just kind of an interesting, uh, interesting thing to need to do. Yeah, it's not like it disconnects. Oh well, that is quite all right. Not the end of the world. I forgot to turn this on first. There we go. Wow. Yep. So now let me figure, think about how these are going to fit in here so I can close the thing up. Oh, did I screw it in the wrong spot? I don't think so. There we go. Just got to figure out where to put the wires. are in. Time for the clips. These are actually generally have been a little harder with this to, to get these clips in on the hood than I wish. That was before I put the lights in. Okay. We have front lights. We have what do you call those kind of lights on the top there? I don't know. <laughs> and then we have back lights. Is that steering? I don't know. Pretty fast. Yeah. Let's go Can light. I see if it says fast as the WL toys? It's uh, no. Let's not worry about it. So we're gonna wrap up now. This is it. You saw the install. You saw it worked. Um, I would say uh, I do have to think a bit more about how to do the wires inside, how to get them out of the way. But I was able to close it. Um, <clears throat> I am very happy with my purchase from. LED, LED, I'm sorry, lit LED lights, lit LED lights. Let me get even closer there. Um, I've got some uh, shoe glue on the back, but you can see how to find them on Facebook. I'll try to remember to put it down in the description too. Um, but this is a neat little uh, vehicle, but I always like lights. And even though these are kind of cool, the ones, I don't know if you can see them on the bumper there, the bumper lights are cool. I'm glad they come with it. It's not quite the same. And also, if you're going to go in the dark, it's nice to be able to see on the back too. So generally when we get a truck we like or a car, we like having front and back lights because much of the year it gets dark when we can use it, right? Yeah. So if you're sending your car down the distance and you want to bring it back, you want to know what direction it's going. And this is very helpful. Obviously with a rig like this that's not going very fast. It's probably a little less of an issue. But some of the other ones, you start getting up 20, 30, 40, 50 miles an hour. You need to very clearly understand what direction that car is going. And you need lights to do it. Even if you have overhead lights. In fact, in the distance, it's hard to see. Should so, I pull out a good example of it? Nah, no. I think we're good. We're going to wrap up here. And then we're going to work on your uh, your car. Get that Should spur gear that in there. Nah, they don't need <laughs> to see it. Get the spur gear in. Uh, uh, final wait, comment again. Um, we did get the LED lights from Lit LED Lights. Make sure I got it right. Lit LED Lights. We got this from Cole Pars, the actual vehicle itself from Cole Pars, Hobby Town in Aurora, Colorado. Highly recommend both of them. See you guys later. Well, folks, it would look better at night, but uh, you can see the lights work nicely. Nice front, top, and roof rack, right? Top, roof rack, and then look, yeah. you can see the back. There you go. Now I'm going to truly wrap up this video. Yep, but you got to get a bit of banana split driving in, too. Yeah, well, there you go. This is my ideal mini car because it's faster. <laughs> Goodbye, bum, from bum, from RC, RC Car, car Tech. tech.